Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be rearranging my master bedroom just a little bit. I have a new to me desk. My husband found it on the side of the road and it looks brand new. So I cannot wait. It has like a little shelf on the bottom and then it's also a little bit bigger as far as like the desktop section. So I'll have a little bit more working space because right now this small little desk over there is just not, it's not working. So I have to rearrange though to make it fit and I'm thinking I'm going to put it here, but I'm going to try it on the other side as well. So we'll just kind of play around and see what looks good. All right. So here is the current situation. The bedroom's a little messy, so please don't mind it. I have laundry to put away right there. And then these are our family outfits for photos. I'm going to go take those tonight. I'm really excited because the last family photos I took turned out really good and it's been two years already. Isn't that crazy? But I'm going to get those done tonight. Anyway, I'm going to move the desk to either this wall or this side. I think I can make it look pretty. I'm going to try my best. I know this room is like long and skinny and just kind of awkward, but you have to work with what you got. You know what I mean? So we're just going to make it happen. first start out by taking the treadmill out of the room. I will later on move it back in the room, but it's going to be where the desk used to be. So I got that out and then I'm going to start scooting the dresser down. It is made out of solid wood and you guys, I'm not kidding you when I tell you it is heavy, especially full of clothes. Um, but luckily we have tile and it slides pretty decent across the floor. It doesn't scratch or anything like that. And um, I just got to put some weight behind it. But once I got that slid out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the new desk and get this set up over in that corner. I wanted to give you a quick update on the curtains because a few videos ago I did share um, putting them up and we love them. They look really pretty especially now that they've straightened out and they block out all the light whenever you have them closed which is great but they still have a beautiful flowy look to them so I love them a lot. I got them on Amazon. They were fairly inexpensive so I'll link them below in case you're interested. I quickly realized that that chair was just too big for the space. As cozy as it is, it just doesn't work. So I went ahead and just borrowed one of the dining room chairs for now. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and bring my computer and everything over here to kind of get a better idea of what it's going to look like. This is gonna go. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna go like that. Oh, it opens up the space. I love it. Okay, so I got everything kind of situated, and I don't love the desk over here. It's just like an eyesore when you walk in the door. 
So I'm going to slide the dresser down, put the desk over here on this wall instead and see how that looks. Then I can put the Xbox down there. Okay, so I went ahead and took this strip down because you can see I went ahead and added the treadmill back in the bedroom. Just because I have been using it, I wanted to make sure to keep it up and in a good place where I know I'm going to walk on it. And honestly, the best place for me to do that is in my bedroom. So I went ahead and put it right back over here. And then I just put this piece of art on the wall. But later on in the video, I'm going to paint onto this because it's just not my favorite. But a few hours later, I had to run a few errands. So on the way, I stopped by Bell's Outlet just to take a quick little peek at their Christmas stuff and see if there was anything that I wanted to add to my Christmas decor for this year. I'm going to keep it super simple like I did for fall and just use what I had and just incorporate a few new things. Um, so I came to look at pillows and a few little Christmas trees. So I just thought I would bring you guys along. Recently, I have had this really weird obsession with clay pottery of just any type. I don't know why, but I'm just so drawn to it. Every store I go to, I find something that I love, and that one being as inexpensive as it was, I went ahead and grabbed it because I know I will find a spot for it. Um, also, you'll notice I did find a pillow. It was already in the buggy, and then I found the matching set to the clay pot. I didn't buy that one, though, because I felt like one was enough. So I put that one back and I went over to the Christmas trees, the little miniature ones. This is what I originally came for. There were so many little trees and just little figurines to choose from, but I ended up keeping it really simple. I got one little deer and then I got three little Christmas trees, but I didn't realize until later on that they lit up. I was actually at the register when the girl flipped it over to check for the price tag and I saw that there was a little spot where the batteries go. I was so excited because I knew they would look so pretty on my dresser. During the little bit of errands that I was running, I did have my bedding set thrown in the dryer and it was finally done so I'm going to go ahead and make the bed really quick. You know what's kind of funny? No matter how many times I've changed my style, my decor, my bedroom, these pillows I always go back to. I don't know why, but I just like the darker pillows. And these pillows in particular are really thick and fluffy and they hold their shape really well. So I just, I don't know why, but <laughs> everything might change, but the pillows are gonna stay the same. I kind of want to try to add some green to this today. Should we do that together? Like paint some trees in there? <laughs> Do you want to try? I'm scared I'm going to mess it up, but I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You know, I mean, it just looks like green blobs. I really want to add some green because I love the way the one looks in my ma or my bathroom in here. This one, 
oh, I just love the look of this so much more than this one. We should try it. Let's do it. All right, before I get started, here's what the photo looks currently. It is a matte finish, so I should be okay with just painting right over top of it. The paint should stick okay. Um, I also went outside and grabbed lots of paints. So I have these, and then I put some over here too. All right, so I have a few different paint colors. So I got some antique uh, paint just to kind of lighten up the greens, but I have this one first. This is from Beyond Paint. Love this stuff, it works really good. So I got this one. I have a black to make the paint darker if I need to. And then I have this Valspar color sample. This is, I'm not sure of the color because it has completely faded, but it's just like a really deep green. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's like a forest green. So like that, I'm just gonna make some paints on my plate. I'm just gonna have y'all set up right there like that. Sleeves. Ooh, look how beautiful. I love this color. I'm just gonna do a lot. So I grabbed some like coffee filters. I just ripped them in half and I'm gonna use them to help dry off my paintbrush. And I'm gonna go to town. Okay, so I love to paint. I've painted in the past. I like to draw. I just, I like art. I always have since I was a kid. Um, and I just don't do it enough. But after painting this, it just really inspired me to start painting some more. First off, it was extremely relaxing. The only thing I could think of was just what was going to go next onto the painting. And it was really nice escape. So I'm definitely going to start doing this more often. Um, and I may share with you guys like little time lapses here and there if, if I, you know, if I'm feeling creative. <laughs> but I just simply went in with the different green tones, added trees and all along the bank of this canvas art and just did my best to make it look more like a forest and not like a desert. There is something just extremely relaxing about watching a painting being done. If you've never gotten on YouTube and just looked up painting, look it up. It's like the most relaxing thing ever. It'll put you right to sleep. <laughs> I love this so much and I am really proud of how this turned out.
so that's how she turned out. I think it looks so pretty in here. A lot more like foresty. I feel like I need to take the green up here, up higher. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna leave it for now. <laughs> Look at my hands. <laughs> um, but I do like it. I think I did a pretty darn good job for being like not a painter, you know what I mean? I feel like I need it needs a little touch-ups, but yeah, I think I need to take the dark green up higher. Like up higher on this side maybe. Something needs to be done to it. I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna live with it, look at it for a few minutes, and then decide, but I like it. I have a green pillow that I just got. I'm gonna switch it out just to kind of pull from the green tones over here. So let's switch that out really quick. I love this pillow, by the way. I keep this one in the living room usually, but I got this one to put in the bedroom now. It says, um, count your blessings on the front of it. I feel like I just like the green side of it, but we'll try it with this. Let's see? I really just like the green tone that it had. I think I, I don't like the count your blessings. I mean, I like it, count your blessings thing, but I just like the green. <laughs> I thought it was really pretty, and I like that it was super long. So that's why I got it. All right, it's looking a little foresty in here. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so I'm actually going to switch out this, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> for some greenery because I just want to. Now that I have the green over there on the picture, I just feel like it's going to look pretty with some greenery. So let's switch this out. Okay, I don't have <laughs> any Christmas stems right now. I'm too scared to get into the boxes out in the shed because of critters. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use these. These are actually really pretty. I love these and I like how they look with the gold tones. So I think I'll just stick these in there. Okay. I like those. We're just going to slide these down. I'm gonna look and see if I can find some batteries because these do light up. All right, let's see if we can get these trees lit up. I don't know if these batteries work, but we're gonna we're gonna try. Oh, that's double A. What are these? Oh, double A. <laughs> I'm out of luck. Oh, this one doesn't light up. Dang it. Dang, do I have double A batteries anymore? Okay, let's see if these work. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at it! I love it! Let's see what this one looks like. I gotta go find batteries. It took entirely too long <laughs> to find three used batteries. So hopefully these work. Yay. Oh, these are so pretty. All right, y'all. So the bedroom is done for now. Um, I just added a few new things since the last video clip that you saw. I added this greenery. So I got this from Lowe's. It's real from the Christmas tree tent. It was $22 for a 20 foot roll of garland such a good deal and y'all know the Christmas tree garland this year is so expensive so this was a great affordable option now it will dry out if you don't like soak it with water or spritz it with water occasionally um so I plan on just spraying mine with like a little water bottle and hopefully it'll stay green all Christmas but we'll see because it's hot as heck here in Florida so <laughs> hopefully it lasts but if not we'll just have some brown stems laying around it'll be fine Anyway, moving on, I got a family photo, the little Christmas tree from Belle's Outlet, some candlesticks. I just did a stack of books with a candle, and then this little gold deer that I just got. This one's so pretty, too. I love the way that looks. So I cut that, and then I got some just greenery in a, like, vase, and it looks very festive, very pretty. So I like the way that looks. And then turning this way, 
I ended up adding this white comforter. This is Zoe's favorite, the fur one. So I put that at the end of the bed. I use this one just as like some texture. This is from Walmart. It's very soft. But you know what's funny? It always comes off different color on camera than it is in person. It's like very light beige in person, but I feel like it kind of shows up a little purple. Do y'all see that? Like a little bit maybe? I don't know. I see like grays as purple for some reason. But anyway, got all the pillows all stacked up. Lots of pillows this time. I usually don't like to do pillows because it's such a pain to make the bed. But <laughs> I love the way it looks, so I just have a whole bunch up there. And then nothing on the nightstands except for like the Xbox controllers. It's just nice to have it a clear space. And then I have the piece of art that I added the trees to. But that's it. Oh, and then the whole reason for the whole video was to set up a desk. And um, I'm going to be real honest, it's not done. I have a lot of work to do over here. I need to get some cord strips. I also want to get like a few nice things for my desk and just kind of like spice it up a little bit. It's so really messy over here and like not organized. I just need some organization stuff. So I'll be working on that over the next few weeks, just whenever I have time. But for now, it functions, it works. It's just not the prettiest thing in the world over here in the corner. <laughs> But I do love my little lamp. This was a thrifted lamp that I got. It works really well over here. And then I added this little Christmas tree that lights up as kind of like a little nightlight. It takes like two AA batteries. And I've had these trees on for the past couple days. I keep forgetting to turn them off and they're still working. So that's a win in my book. But anyway, the plan is to get a new desk chair, kind of do a little something. But for now, this is how it's going to look until I can work on that. And then, of course, we have a little fireplace going on the TV just to make it super cozy in here. But that is all that I got for you guys. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. Stay tuned for my next video. We'll be doing some more Christmas decorating. We got the tree up, got the yard decorated for Christmas as well. So we are really excited to share that with you guys this year. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all. <laughs>